Hi everyone, my name is Dan Tui Ting. My metric number is A19A0926. First of all, I will talk about Masala Views. This entrepreneur background, Kuhan Pali, is one of the founders of Masala Views. It all started with a witch to help his brother close friend. Four years ago, in 2015, Kuhan Pali's brother asked him to find a way to help this friend who was from a vulnerable background and had a few brushes with warning gangs. At that time, the food crowd craze was at its peak. It struck the entrepreneur Reku Han that this could be a good way for this trend to make a fresh start by operating a food crowd offering Indian cuisine. The social project of Masala Wheels, a social enterprise specializing in banana leaf rice which initially operated out of a pre-owned food truck to now a regular sell-out restaurant that also conducts learning classes, develop the social enterprise impact lab during weekends to the underprivileged community residing in the poorer neighborhood of, of the Pataling Jaya Ong Town. Part of that has already been realized as Masala Wheels is the country's first social enterprise to be acquired by a corporation through an equity partnership exchange with KCOM Group. Hi, I'm Devi Sri. I'm going to talk about one of the social enterprises which is Earth Hair. Okay, Sasi Bai Kim is the founder and chief innovation officer of Earth Hair. Uh, Sasi founded Earth Hair in uh, 2013 as a social business focusing on uh, luxury craftsmanship and showcasing the skills and traditions of craftspeople. She has a background in investment banking, uh, private uh, equity, non-profit or development agencies, consulting sastainable development, uh, we is having lived in eight countries over four continents and she is absolutely passionate about issues pertaining to sustainability, uh, nature and also traveling. Social project that involves her uh, is begin with an appreciation for crowds people and artisans who spend their years honing and perfecting their skills to create their finance art pieces. Today, Earth uh, Hair works across five states of Malaysia with over 100 artisans from indigen indigenous tribes, uh, women's cooperatives and women refuse groups. They make a range of facial and home accessories and also custom made gifts. Additionally, they provide advisory service services to assist artisan groups with product design, production and pricing. Sasi also focuses on building up artisans with work and income so then they can have a dignity for their work and be masters of their own lives. Hello viewers, I'm Darsha Ravindra from group number 5. With pleasure, now I want to share about my opinion and ideas gathered from another great people's happy moments. These great youngsters called Johnson Oi and Jen Kennedy are the founders of Epic Homes. On November 2010, they decided to help a needy or asli family in Kampung Jawa Kerli, Hulu Selangor, where everything started with a Facebook post where they are seeking for volunteers and it brought together a group of 64 like-minded individuals who shared a common goal. These people's mission is to build houses from scratches for the poor or improve their existing homes. Based on UNDP's analysis, 34% of oral asli lives in poverty, equivalent one-third of their population. Owning a home is their core need. Therefore, the group bonded and enjoyed commodities that could only be fostered by working together. And hence, the idea for the social enterprise named Epic Homes was born. This social program is designed to develop support networks by bringing together rural and urban folk through the act of building homes, leading the development of cooperative, resilient, and sustainable communities. Epic Homes' aim is to build relationship between the urban and rural divide through the act of building homes for unprivileged communities. Currently, 
focusing on the indigenous people of Peninsular Malaysia, the Orang Asli. Moreover, many private corporations have expressed their interest in sponsoring these homes as part of their corporate social responsibility projects. The houses are built free of charges for the Orang Asli families. And we hope their future can be changed and improve their standard of living for better and visionary. I, myself, will be a volunteer to help these people one day. Thank you for watching.